Thank you for the opportunity once again to do what I love and talk about Prince's work. Mr. Ants, your work simply gets better and better and you are deeply appreciated. Although Lord knows what would happen if you ever tried to steal my medallion. See my baby, she gave me that medallion and it, um, you know, it mean a lot to me, so. That's right. This week's purple pick of the week is the springy, bouncy, boingy, humorous, quip-packed story of just what happened when a law-fracturing bad girl makes off with Prince's prize medallion in tow. It seems virtually redundant to say, but once again this track has a complicated and circumnavigatory creation path. The first nod to this track was actually not even as part of a song, but as a humorous awards acceptance message at the Yahoo Internet Life Awards in 2000. Having won the award for best internet single the year before for the track The War, another Mr. Ant's Purple Pig of the Week, in case you were curious, he was awarded the title again for the philosophical exploration that was simply named One Song. I feel I should probably point out that Prince won the award the next year too with the work Part One. However, in 2000, Prince was unable to make the award show, so he created this message. I don't know why I win awards. I can't lie. I only know to call. <laughs> Prince, right. <laughs> Using the musical backing for what would become my medallion, Prince ends the acceptance message with a self deprecating. Then, in 2001, Prince included the track on the excellent NPG audio show series. It was originally destined to become part of the aborted High album, but then ended up becoming one of only two tracks not to make it onto either Slaughterhouse or The Chocolate Invasion, even though it appeared on some early artwork for the latter of those. It was only in 2015 that it finally found a new home on Tidal, in its original position on The Chocolate Invasion album. Nothing is straightforward in the Prince universe. One other quick point to mention is its debt to the track called Spill the Wine by Eric Burden and The War. I listened to their track from 1970 and the chorus is certainly pretty close. Whether an inadvertent inspiration or homage, it's not clear. Most of the track is very different indeed. The track itself is Prince's storytelling at its craziest. It's like a cross between a comedy sketch, an action movie and a strange love song. Cuss all the time, steal, man, she rob her own moms. Prince sets a scene on his quest for a girl that is bad and makes clear that he means bad as in law-breaking and outrageous. The track is sprung with staccato drum stabs and some really nice full squelchy accompaniment. Prince oscillates between the spoken word and a taut falsetto. There are lots of little great background touches with a soft wolf whistle slide and the use of an engine starting to make this track deeper and more intricate than it may first appear. For some reason, the utter surprise in which Prince sings these lines just makes me laugh in such a great way every time. It's like he's genuinely shocked as he relays the story to us and his falsetto ratchets up through the scales. Even when Prince tracks her down and intends, as he phrases it, to manifest a little unenjoyment in her life, he takes the opportunity to mock the name of her dry cleaners with a background laugh. Of all his favourite elements Prince sings, there is none quite like surprise. Then Prince delivers some truly vibrant high-noted demands. I don't know what your name or your game is. The final culmination of this chase, which now involves a cab driver seeing his chance to grab the medallion, ends with a powering Prince breakdown chant. It's ultimately a track that is not only an earworm, but fuses a story that is both funny and a little dark. Prince's sense of humour is desperately unappreciated, and this is a track few outside the community will have heard. The way Prince describes the episode with references to various cultural touch points and with a swagger of righteous indignation is just so Prince. An unusual story song in the Prince canon, but certainly one that will bring a smile on a day when you might need one. Thank you. <laughs>